This cloud wasn't in the forecast. I want my money back. Oh my, what do we have here? In the custom car world, that would be called a rat boat. Extremely original and artistic, nonetheless. of Aslan and the Gent. Have you seen their travels before? Well, did you know that they're back again and cruising the canals once more? Sold up, downsized for a minimalised alternative life afloat. Going boldly where thousands have been before. One man, one life, one boat. Bridge 34, and it's supposed to be a service point along here. If so, I'll just get rid of a bag of rubbish, I reckon. Talking of rat vans. Oh well, there's your answer. Refuse disposal is closed. And if you dump the rubbish there anyway, you will go to prison for a very long time. And be introduced to Mr. Big in the showers. Some rather nice visitor moorings though. If I wasn't heading for Market Bosworth, and there'd been room, I'd have probably stopped there. There's a definite chill on that wind. But I'm also getting a sense that everything is gearing up for spring. Probably about, what, two months away? Personally, I'm also gearing up for something else. Something quite major. It's my 55th birthday. On the 2nd of February. I will be entering my 56th year. Another five years, I will be 60. I mean, without wanting to get all morbid, uh, the older you get, I found that the more you become aware of your own mortality. When you're younger, you're invincible. I mean, of late, especially in films, the Green Mile, oh my God. As soon as Mr. Jingles the mouse appears, I'm like, <laughs> for the rest of the film. Forrest Gump, oh my God, right from the beginning. The feathers floating in the sky, the music's going. <laughs> right until the end. Castaway. He loses uh, Wilson and he's just lying on that raft. He's lost everything and he's just blubbing like a baby. You just become aware of all these things and little things just trigger it off. Tears appear. You know, woman rescues a puppy that was crying for help. <laughs> Still, let's snap out of that. I'm British. Made of sterner stuff, you know. Can't buy DM rudders. 
seize the day, live in the moment. You cannot stop the passage of time. Don't waste time thinking about what you haven't got. Think about what you have got. Lecture over. Dismantle railway. In the right light, even a hunk of rusting metal can have a certain charm. All the colours come out. Hi, colour photography is a completely different discipline to black and white or grayscale. In my younger days, I shot a lot of black and white, especially street photography. And with black and white, it's all about shapes and shades. Uh, you know, dark and light, and that's what makes the photograph, uh, you know, and the subject as well. But with colour, it's all about finding a colour which is the dominating part of the picture, which is the part that draws your mind, draws the attention, you know, of the viewer. You know, for example, you know, that house, the background is blue, and then the greeny brown of the trees, but the red brick of the house trumps all of that and becomes the main subject to the photo. But the same picture in black and white would just be a jumble of different greys and blacks. These here are known as battlefield moorings. And through the trees there is the battlefield steam railway line. Shenton Aqueduct, Aqueduct Farm, and slightly further along Shenton Village. And around about two miles to Market Bosworth.
branch got caught around my stove chimney and I thought for one moment it was going to rip something off. Luckily it was a dead branch and it broke off. No damage as far as I can see. around a mile to Market Bosworth. Ah, that's better. I wonder if there's any horses in the area that carry the DNA of the huge old British horses that used to carry the knights and their 80 pounds of armour into battles such as at Bosworth Field. The modern day Shire is one such descendant. Here, this sunshine is actually feeling warm. Ooh. Spring is on the way, spring is on the way. Can't be bad, I'm feeling warm, spring is on the way. I think I'm picking up on some of the old medieval influence from the Battle of Bosworth Field. Launching into medieval folk songs. more f new build but you want to build yourself a little garage or an oversized shed in your garden forget it swallow up some more green belt no problem at all oh, but we need the housing <laughs> I'll finish packing up for the day and then we'll go and get some food. Town centre about a quarter mile it says, though my Nixon guide says about a mile. Looks like a very similar setup to Hinkley here. The uh, neighbouring town has very little to do with its canal. Ooh, very pleasant, I must say.
a fabulous old place. An original historic market town. There's something quite familiar about it, to be honest. I'm not sure if I've actually been here before. I might have been. That's the shop I'm interested in, and that's why I've come here. That's the shopping done. Now back to Aslan. And I'm all set for the seven, what was it, seven and a half miles to the Ashby Canal Terminus tomorrow. This is it, around seven miles to the terminator of the canal, or the terminus. The canal now becomes completely rural for the rest of its length. Along the way we pass the little village of Shackleston, and finally Snareston. Well, that was Ian from Forgo Narrowboating. And yesterday, yes, it was Steve from Forgo Narrowboating. <laughs> I appeared on Forgo Narrowboating's live stream as a special guest, nonetheless. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. Yeah, that was a very good, fun evening, that. I'll put a link in the description below. I wonder who will be next then. I already met floating our boat in season eight. Hmm, Robbie coming maybe? No, I met him in season five, didn't I? It won't be David Johnson cruising the cut or Foxes Afloat, of course, because they no longer own a boat. And of course, there's also now the 10,000 or so narrow boat YouTube channels which sprung up after the original five, back in about 2016, 17. They were sort of interesting. Cruising the cut, of course. Robbie coming, narrowboat journeys, and of course myself. And no doubt all the originals were told the very same thing I was when we got going. You're mad. Nowadays, no one bats an eyelid about buying and moving onto a canal boat.
that wind's definitely picking up. Being a site of special scientific interest, of course, means that it's protected. So expect to see a new housing development on there in the next 10 years or so. Though the strong winds were forecast, this ominous black cloud wasn't. Actually an effort to keep the camera steady at times. Though I shall soldier on. The front of the boat is actually starting to do a little bit of bobbing up and down. We're leaning. <laughs> I need both hands for this manoeuvre. What a guy.